This video is about the story of Alba Nunez and his wife, Josefina. I was referred to a couple here in the plantation of mango trees here in the now because they are living in such dire strait. They have lost their house to the Yolanda Typhoon and now Kuya Albin here is already ill. He used to work in the fish port of the now city as labor. Now he is not very well. He has diabetes. And his wife had no other means of living. They are now living here in the big mango plantation. But upon interviewing them, they don't know any, any other means of livelihood. So I was asking them if their son, they have a couple of children. The girl is already married, 36 years old. And they have a son, 37 years old, that is half half supporting them because unsay trabaho ni sa imong kamagwangan kuya al pala is daan gyapon na gyapon siya labor siya so his son is also working as a laborer in the fish port sa fish port siya gyapon day siya and they used to live in a better house like this but when during the duranda typhoon this is where they have allowed to build their shed and you can see that they are just enough for them to slip in. What mo suga de kagabi iya? Gas. So, and see, kamura matug diriya. So, only the couple, Josepina and Albin, lives in this house, but they you can't believe it that they already live here for 30 years. 30 years, you know, mm -hmm. since 1986. This is their house. And I was asking, where do you go to toilet? And they said that they just go in any places that they can hide in the forest, in the mountains. And this is their kitchen area. And this is where they cook. So I was thinking of whatever I could help them to earn money. But they don't know anything else aside from the money and the Mamjo. So they just live like this. So I don't know. Ang imong mga anak mam naka eskwela mam. Have your children went to school? Unsay unsay grado si mong kamanghuran? Kamanghuran ako. Wa ko man high school. Hasn't finished the high school. The girl that's been married ang sikuan ang makamagwangan. I grade 2, grade 2 ato bino. Si so the children the eldest son, that's why he's working in the fish port. It's only grade 2. So, they are really like um, living a life of poverty. And now they have been living on this house like this for 30 years. Their job is to watch the mango plantation. But sometimes there is no mango because... um mga ate? Wala lang? Ah, so, so they only earn when during harvest of the mango or there's something they're not actually earn wala they binuwan nga ihatag ti wala so there's no monthly income that they are having so pila ka pila sa usa ka tuig mag harvest so one a year once a year that they harvest the mangoes or once a year that they spray the mangoes that's when they have like extra for their rice yan inyong panga Kuan kada adlaw ti, panginabuhi ti, kanang kaon ba? No, kuan sa tagaan ko sa kung ano. So, they have their son to rely on, which only working on the fish port. Ang katong usa, dili na katabang ninyo ti, no? Kay, minyo naman. Nana sa tiyay mga anak. So, the youngest one who is married cannot help them because he already got four, four children and then the husband's only working as a caddy on the golf course. So, kan luwi kay muti, uy? Now, um, Kuya Albin is already have diabetes, so that's why they're asking for help on anyone that will help them buy the medicine. But 
what I notice here, because I have been asking what, what else can I help, because they don't know any other means of living, so I don't know um, how it fits with the help with the livelihood, because the wife itself, manglabada ka sa una ti, wala sad. Mm, so her only job that she know is she's working in a restaurant before pero nagminyo na kato te while they were um, while they were, he was married to, with Kuya Albin and Kuya Albin used to be working in the fish port and earning enough money for them to eat just to survive so um, I don't really know because you cannot build the house because this is not their land the land is owned by their Kana yung amo, may tagi ani yuta. Namatay naman. Laki ang babay mo na anabil. Mm. So their their amo, uh, the owner of the land is the one um, letting them live here among the plantation of the mango trees. And what they can do, because you can see there's goats around, they also collect cow manures and sell it to garden centers. That's why you can see those one sack sack up in the sack nagpila say balit ano yun anak ti 100 pesos per sack so that's another thing that they can earn but di sir mo ka ba mangumatin no kaya wong san mo umahon so they don't know they cannot farm because they don't have a farm and this is the only way that they just survive with food and they don't know any other means of living because this is a hard thing. You cannot fix their house because this is not their land. So anytime they can get kicked out. Kaya di masad inyong yuta, ti pwede ra mo pawaon. Ti no, gamito na ti no. Pawaon mo, asa nang sad mo ti? Pawa, may anong baligyan eh. Because they were also um, thinking that if the the wife, the the original owner is already dead, the wife is already thinking of selling this plantation before she gets so old. So what if the new owner will kick them out? That's what another trouble that they do. So here. They don't, their light is gas so you could do with um solar light ti kan ikuan bay buod sa init nga suga ti ba wala wala og may mohatag ni mog solar ti ba mas maayo kaysa gas ti pare na kamsikag palit mm -mm. lagi so i just there are people that they don't know how to help them because they don't know any other means of living they're only working for someone and I ask them any other skills that we can develop by giving them other like sewing and all that but they don't they they have been living working for someone now that those someone have died like to Kuya Albin his boss for in the fish port already died and now he is ill himself he cannot go and ask the boss because the boss's family already closed down the fish port, uh, the fish business. So, this is really hard. So, I think you, my viewers, could see that this couple needs help. But the livelihood thinking, the livelihood concept that I'm thinking will not be up to them because they don't know, both of them don't know any other means of living. So there you go. This is what the, the, their situation is. And Kuya Albin right now have a lot of um, medicine to buy for his diabetes disease or illness that stops him from working. Kuya Albin used to be a muscled man. Diba? Maskulado kay ka sa una yan, no? Muscled man because he's working as a laborer in the fish port. But now he... Nagkadaot yung kamaayotay. He's slowly thinning up, he said. He lost all his muscles. And the diabetes... Taas kayo ang sugar, ma'am. Unsa yung libels yung sugar, ti? Ah, yeah. Ginintos ka pa, 500? Halo, eh. Di ka maluya, yeah. 
about 500 is the and he gets dizzy that's why he walks around with um a cane that he made uh, just cut from the wood and for 30 years they've been living like this just get on to the next land that's available that would not kick them out so you cannot build them anything you cannot give them any means of livelihood because they only know working for someone else they haven't learned any skills in fact even their son don't even know how to ride a bike he's only working as a fish port labor again like his father for someone and he can only uh, support them in little way so this is how the couple lives and during rains yeah di ka mabasa da ikauan ya so they have tarpaulins i was asking that they don't they get wet during rainy season they said that they have put the tarpaulin properly that they cannot get wet so they are living here in a big mango plantation but you know they are just the watchers of the plantation and their incentives just allow them to on yeah their um, incentive is to let them live here for free and and if there's any harvest that's when they can get um, a little bit of money from the harvest like to buy rice but what they do is just relying on their son or whatever they can do like those collecting the cow manures for gardening centers so it's really hard but you know the only way you can help them is to i'm trying to avoid giving just the food you know and then after that there's nothing changing in their lives but this is really sad like they used to work so hard but working for someone else you can't even give them a sari sari store because who's going to be buying in the middle of a plantation where no other houses here except them and it's very far to come here it's about a kilometer uh from the main road of the cebu country club a gold club here it's about one and a half kilometers walk so even a sari sari store will not suffice because it won't have any sales they are in the middle of nowhere so i was saying if you're going to go to the doctor's checkup they have to go to that one and a half kilometer walk before the main road so they just have to wait there for like a long time just to wait for the motorbike if someone pass so it is a really hard situation all you can all i could only think of is just the giving the avoidance of the giving just a one-off thing there's nothing else that they know more than just working for somebody else they haven't learned any skills Ikaw, Kuya Al, unsa kang graduhay mo na abot, Kuya? Uh, grade 2. Grade 2 Oh. He's only done grade 1. Si Ate? Si Ate? Ako? Oh. Ay, grade 3 na ako na eh. Grade 3. So, grade, she's grade 1 and she's grade 3. It's really hard. Like, I could remember my parents as well so that's why i'm i'm quite touched and because we live near the city that's why we have a little sari sari store that supplements our income and also we rent out the rooms that we have around the community but how can they do that they really don't know anything else it's really hard to give them a livelihood help because they cannot they don't know anything else money in picture yeah katong He's showing me the man that he used to be. Look at him 
When he used to work as a laborer for the fish port, he's really muscular, he's big, and now he's just the man, half the man that he used to be. Um, excuse my, um, I get emotional sometimes, you know. So, it's really hard. Dako ka sa una ya, uy. Maskulado kay kaya. Timbang 74 kilos. And now he's just half the man he used to be, if not one-fourth of the man he used to be. Sige lang niya, sige lang niya. So this is the story of Alben, Kuya Alben Nunez and his wife Jimilina. So this is how the Kuya Alben and Jimilina lives for 30 years under this mango tree. So they're just in the middle of nowhere to be honest. Just mango trees after mango trees after mango trees. And you will see how long was the walk from to, towards here when I go back. So I'm going back now. This is the way to find the place of Kuya Albin and Auntie, uh, Ate Jimilina, the couple there that I just featured. This is the way I have to go through. So they are really very sad story. And it's hard for people when they just used to working for someone. They haven't learned any skills at all that other means of living. In fact, they are both illiterate, you know. They can't read and write. They just can only write their name. So it's really hard. And then their children is the same. Although they said that the youngest daughter was almost finishing high school. So she can read and write for them. But it's not enough. So a few box can sort them through. To buy their food for the day and my guide in coming here also feel sorry for them give them some to buy some medicines so it's like a, a very e emotional thing that's why you can see that i got carried away sometimes that's why i I'm, I'm used to be a top b but things like that make me chuckle sometimes you know you get touched but i tried have you noticed that when they start to get crying i change the subject because it is it's very muddy here <laughs> wait my shoes is very heavy the all the mud that's sticking on it and see there's still the far away mountain one and a half kilometer walk for them the couple just to go to the main town of the now or go to their barangay hall and from the end of this road you will see that it's still a road so quiet they just wait for the motorbike drivers to pass if not they will be staying there for half a day just waiting for a motorbike so it's a really hard situation and I don't know any other means that they can sustain a means of living for their livelihood they are only be be giving hand out and that's all but when it's gone there's nothing else to sustain. So, I was touched there. What, like some people, it's just beyond helping themselves, you know? 
I just turned this off because my shoes is getting heavy.